Hi friends, welcome to Offer Studies YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss about UVCon, how it is helpful in Python. So UVCon is a lightweight, lightning fast ASGI server for Python. ASGI means Asynchronous Server Gateway Interface. And it is designed for asynchronous web applications and web APIs which build using fast API, Serled, Danjo, Flask, etc. But all this might not be making much sense or looking very complicated to understand. Let me quickly explain you easily and let's do one small practical demo as well. So imagine like let's assume you are creating a API or a web application. And let's assume you are creating a web application uh, using uh, maybe uh, so if you know Python or .NET, let's assume in a .NET when you create a web application or a API, you will be hosting that into something called IIS server. Okay. Similarly, if you develop a web application or API using Java, I think you will be uh, hosting it into Apache Tomcat. Okay. So that is a server name where you can host it. Same way, let's assume when you write a code in a Python or when you develop a web application or an API in Python, you need to host it somewhere in some server. So there are couple of technologies to do that. And uh, one of the uh, famous technology is UVCon, okay? So UVCon framework or server helps you to take your Python code and host it. And now when you develop a web application or API using a Python, what, what frameworks are available? So for example, if you are developing a API, there is something called fast API uh, library available using which you can develop the APIs. If you are developing a web application, Flask is there or so many other libraries. So whenever you are developing your web applications or APIs with these libraries in Python, you need to activate the UVCon server and you need to host your code there, thereby your API or web application will start work. To Let's try to see this in a practically with a simple example. I have opened a Visual Studio code and in the Visual Studio code, I have a folder called sample API learning. Okay. And you create this main.api file and if you observe this code, what I am doing it, I am importing fast api from the fast api library and for that fast api class, I am creating an object called app, okay. So once, once I have this object called app, then on that object, maybe I am having a post request uh, to the root URL uh, of the uh, whole api then it will simply hit this function where it is returning a method or, or it is returning a JSON called hello world, okay. So a simple web API I am creating using a fast API. So you have this main.python file and then you can install this. So in the requirements.txt file, uh, try to install these two packages. One is fast API, another one is uvcon. Why uvcon? Because this API we are going to host on the uvcon server. So we need that, okay. Uh, and once you have both of that, try to run this command python space module, m means module, okay, then vnv, that means virtual environment, uh, then maybe myenv. So this, uh, when you execute this command, this command actually creates the virtual environment in the system. And when it creates the virtual environment, you will have the myenv folder also there. So virtual environment mean, imagine like your whole computer is one, one environment. Now you don't want to use that whole environment uh, for your Python code. So you want to create a mini sandbox version of your machine as a virtual environment and all the required libraries you will install there. So uh, once you execute this command, you see that my env folder came. So that means I got my own environment now, a virtual environment now to run this Python code. So once you have that, what you can do, you can execute this pip, uh, you can execute this uh, in the my env, so that is the environment name. You can go to the scripts and you can go to the active. So when you run this command, it will actually activate your virtual environment. And when it activates the virtual environment, uh, you will be seeing this my env added in your terminal also. That shows that right now you are you are inside the virtual environment. So once you are inside the virtual environment, what you can do, you can run this pip install hyphen r requirement.txt command. So this command actually takes all the libraries what you mentioned inside the requirements.txt file and install them in the virtual environment. So right now in my file, I have fast API and uvcon both the libraries. So both of them will get installed. So all that steps I have executed already. 
so once you have all these things ready now you have to execute uh, a command to activate the uvcon server and host this api there so what i will be doing it here is in, in here in the terminal uh, let me minimize this i will be running this uvcon uvcon okay space what is the file in which my api was written main file right so i will be saying main the file name then colon what is the object in which my fast api uh, object is getting uh, or the whole fast api is getting hosted that object name so here the object name is app so when i run this command this will actually help me to run my api from the uvcon server so basically the whole api code will go and host in the uvcon server and from the uvcon server my api will active so let me hit uh, this uh, uh, enter button to run this and when it runs uh, you can see this uh, it says that if i zoom it says that my application is started and right now my api is running at this url uh, this url is basically coming from my local system so basically uvcon server got installed in my system and inside that server the whole api code got hosted so to this url if i perform the post request as you can see here if i perform the post request then i should get the hello world back so what i will be doing i will be going to the postman here uh, so I have the postman extension guys and uh, let me try to create a new new request there and uh, in the postman uh, so let me uh, copy this whole url so let me right click uh, let me see see when i see control c it may get stopped so what i will do i will type the url here uh, yeah, i have it here see http 127.0.0.1 colon 8000 and I have, and you, 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 if you remember, I have to make a post call, not the get call. You can see there, right? So it's a post request. So I am selecting a post request here, and that's it. I don't need to pass anything. So let me hit this send and see whether I got a response back. And you can see, so I made a post request and I got a response, hello world back. Okay, so how that magic is coming? Because at that a UVCon server installed and in that server my API code got deployed and it started working. So what I will be doing it now is, so instead of hello world, I will change this code to hello Mahir and I will save it. So I saved this main.py file. My server is running here anyways. I have already ran it, so I don't run it. Let's see what will happen. So now I am expecting it to print the hello Mahir, whether that will happen or not. So let me hit this send now. And if you observe the output, it is still hello world not hello mahir the reason is whatever the code changes i did it they have to redeploy back into this uvcon server then only it will work okay so let's do that let me hit control c to stop the execution of that uvcon and then what i will be doing it here i will again execute uvcon space main colon app and hit enter so this will start the server once again it will have the code in the server once again now if i go and if i perform the post request here then i am getting the hello mahir back so all good but the, the problem here is every time i have to restart the server whenever i do the code changes is there a better way to do it then the answer is yes let me hit the control c in the terminal to close close the server and once again so uvcon main app then i will use something called reload flag to enable it so when i enable it whenever i change the code i no need to redeploy once again by running the uvcon command it will automatically redeploy so let me hit enter to start the server first here um, so once the server starts i will practically try to uh, change the things as well and show you okay so you see that server is up and running now and i think you should be able to see that now so now what what i will be doing it is i will be going to my postman request and i will try to uh, hit the request to see whether i will get a values back so post request i am hitting it and uh, if i see this if i see the response i think response should come here if i see the response i got a hello over here so what i am doing it now observe the terminal now when i am changing something so instead of hello mahir i am going to change it to hello wafa and when i save these changes you see that server got restarted automatically i didn't re-executed the command that means whatever the code changes i did now that code changes might be active so now if i go to the post request 
and if I hit send that it will get the new response me hello Mahir when I hit this send uh, sorry hello Wafa you see that I got a new response called hello Wafa so how that is happening without running a uvcount command once again because of the reload flag what I used it when I am uh, building that uh, uvcount server from the command prompt okay so that's it in this video I hope you got a make sense how this uvcount works so basically uvcon is like a server which can host your python code and uh, serve the web application or api from there and especially when you create this web applications or apis using fast api flask technologies then uvcon will perfect suit there is the uvcon is the only way to run these applications the answer is no there is something called g unicon there are a lot of other libraries as well but uvcon is something which is very famous uh, which regularly people use it to host the web applications or apis so thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.